Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR, and you are checking out a Serum Tip and Trick tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be focusing on one of the features, newer features that was released that was released in the last few months. It's a really interesting one in Serum, and it's importing pictures as wavetables. And this is actually one of the easiest ways to create really in-depth wavetables that have a lot of change between them. So we're going to check that out. So it's really easy to do, and then I'm going to fit in a, another little tip and trick here that was recently added to Serum. So Serum updates so freaking much, it's hard to keep up with. And it's really cool, I'm not complaining, but it's hard to keep these uh, Serum update videos coming because I just did one like a week ago, and here we are again. So this is build 1.112, August 9th, 2016. And there's a really cool new feature to one of the coolest features in the synth, the multiband compressor that we'll touch on at the end of the video. Okay, so here's the sound that we have. It's uh, oscillator A and B. Here's oscillator A. And here's oscillator B. Okay, so together we have this. All right, so pull, let's pull in a picture. I have a picture of Homer Simpson, because why not? And you want it to be a .png file. That's the only way this works. So we're going to pull this into oscillator A. And you'll see it'll... Uh, the pixel luminance maps to amplitude, okay? So you can actually see Homer's face in there, which is pretty cool. And now when we go scan through the wavetail position, we have a pretty cool looking waveform. And you can go into your wavetable editor here and you can actually process and morph. So let's uh, select all the different wavetables. Let's just highlight all these by shifting, hitting shift click. And we're gonna go morph and we'll do, uh, let's do spectral crossfade just to tighten things up. And you can even process this. You could do, let's do, uh, let's do another one. Let's create pulse width modulation from this table to all and see what happens. All right, so we've changed it quite a bit. Now, if we go back, right, we don't have Homer Simpson anymore, but we do have a wavetable. Okay, let's turn off this FM from B. Right, we do have a wavetable that we just, pretty much changed. So let's let, let's undo that last that the last two things that we did in the wavetable editor. So now if we go back, it'll look like Homer Simpson again. So really cool way to create wavetables. Let's bring in oscillator B again. All right, so really fun, kind of a gimmicky type thing. It, it might seem gimmicky, but Actually, you can get some really cool things going on. So you can turn detune up, and you have all your normal features of the oscillator. All right, now let's look at one other thing. I'm going to kind of bundle this into a tip and trick. Let's go to the compressor, and let's turn on the multiband. So now you actually have controls here. You have a mix control for the different sections of the multiband. Which can really, because the multiband compressor, it really took out a lot of the lows in a lot of the sounds. It kind of made it sound super glassy and shiny. Well, now you can actually keep in some of the lows. So let's turn down this one. Here's the low, right? This is the mid. Here's the high. So now if we turn this multiband off and the compressor off, we have the gain and kind of that cool feeling from the multiband, but it's closer to our actual source sound. Okay, now here's the freaking crazy thing you can do now. So we have on this sound, we have three LFOs, and LFO2 is kind of uh, the main one here affecting an LFO1. LFO1 and 2 are adding that quick kind of stutter. So let's go to our FX, and we're going to go take LFO1, and we're going to modulate. You can actually modulate into the individual bands here, which is insane. So we're going to drag and drop this in. We go to our matrix here. See? LFO1, uh, multiband compression. So let's turn that up. So you, ha you can do that with any of the modulation points. You can do envelope. You can do anything. And it's insanely cool. So there you guys go. A couple cool tips and tricks with Serum that you maybe didn't know about. The uh, picture one is really cool to creating in-depth wavetables. And I think it's going to be something that I use all the time. And then I'll just go to the actual editor here. And I will morph and process so it turns into a typical or more of a typical type of wavetable.
So you can see that they're a little bit dirty. Um, and they're a little, they, they do need cleaning up. So what I'm going to do here is let's actually just delete some of these. So we're just going to highlight some, and then we're going we're gonna to right-click just to delete. Or we're just going to, we can just hit, uh, start taking some of these away. All right, so then let's start with that, and let's scan through that. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. So just clean up some of this. The picture's going to change, obviously, here. So now that's some cool movement again. And then using something like one of these uh, FM from A, using a picture one's kind of crazy. Get some really cool sounds, but there you guys go. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for checking this video out. I'll see you next time.